Muslim linguists. Muslims have had an influence on language and linguistics over the years, and I'll be giving some examples of this. Probably the main reason why Muslims study a language is Arabic, because that's the language that the Quran was revealed in. That doesn't mean that Arabic can only be studied by Arabs and that they're the only ones who can be good at the language. One of the greatest linguists was in the 8th century a Persian called Sibawai. He wrote many books on Arabic. There was also a very famous poet likewise called Omar Khayyam who was also Persian. Arabic is a very influential language and there are many languages that use loan words from Arabic such as the Southeast Asian languages Malay and Indonesian, African languages such as Swahili which is spoken in East Africa and even European languages such as Spanish and English. However, Muslims are not just restricted to learning Arabic only, they are encouraged to learn other languages as well. And probably an early indication of that was a narration with the Prophet peace be upon him, where he told one of his companions, Zayd bin Thabit, to go and study the language of the Jews. That is basically Hebrew, which is a Semitic language similar to Arabic. After learning the language, the Prophet peace be upon him instructed him to go and study the Syriac or Aramaic language. Muslims also try to study other languages, so for example in the House of Wisdom in Baghdad long ago, there were many Muslims, Christians and Jews who worked closely together to do research, a bit similar to how you might have a research center today, and they translated works such as ancient Greek texts. One person who studied the Greek language in great detail was Al-Farabi. There's some dispute about where he was from originally, but most likely he was from Persia, and he was very skilled in languages, so according to some narrations, he learned up to 70 languages. Again, other people tried to learn other languages, such as Yusuf bin Ahmad al Konain, who studied the ancient Somali language and writing, which is the Wadad writing in the 18th century. Another example is Al Biruni, who studied the ancient Hindu language, which is the Sanskrit language. Muslims also had an influence on the Urdu language, which was invented. It's an invented language during the time of the Muslims in India. So it's a mix of other languages, but mostly Arabic, Persian, and Turkish. It's one of the most widely spoken community languages in the world today and it's the official language of Pakistan. There have also been many successful poets for Urdu such as Mirza Ghalib and Allama Iqbal. To some extent, Muslims are still influential in languages. So for example, at Allahabad University in India, the head of the department for Sanskrit is Dr. Nasreen. She is the first Muslim to head the department in the 116 years of the university. Another example is the American Somali Ladan Osman who won a prize for her poetry. She's a poet and teacher. Another example is the Canadian Dawood Wonsby Ali, who is a singer and poet. He was born as David Wonsby but he converted to Islam. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video interesting. Please like and share my video and subscribe to my channel.